Spark TV, Adventures in Creativity, presented by Spark. Spark is a non-profit, fully immersive, creative environment with a mission to ignite the spark of creativity inherent in all children. Hi, uh, my name is Gerald Lavelle II, and I am the Helen Giddings Fellow for Research and Practice here at the African American Museum of Dallas. The African American Museum of Dallas uh, really came to this location in November of 1993, and we've been here thriving ever since. Right now, you're in the Sam and Ruth Bussey Gallery, which holds the Billy R. Allen Folk Art Collection. The Billy R. Allen Folk Art Collection here actually is one of the largest folk art collections, uh, African-American folk art collections in the country outside of the Smithsonian Institute. We have a very extensive folk art collection here and a fast growing decorative art collection. And today I really want to talk with you about the crazy quilts. Right now I'm sitting in front of one of our crazy quilts. Uh, the, the maker is actually unknown, but this quilt is from 1888. Crazy quilts became popular in the late 1800s, likely due to the English embroidery and Japanese art that was displayed at the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition. American audiences were drawn to the satin stitches used in English embroidery, which created a painterly surface, which is reflected in many crazy quilts, just as the one we're looking at today. Quilts can be used as, a, as resources in reconstructing the experiences of, of people, of women, of African-American women. They provide a record of their cultural and political past, their important art forms. Until recently, the historical contributions of African-American women to the craft were virtually dismissed. But here, African-American women, whose voices are largely unknown, have often unconsciously created their own lives and are voices of authority on their experiences. The voices of black women are stitched within their quilts. You think about crazy quilts, crazy quilt quilts. What's a crazy quilt, right? Think about words like erratic or jumbled, insane, bizarre, but the crazy quilts are actually anything but. Oftentimes the artists were very particular about the materials that they would use, the, the images that they would use, the, the fabrics that they would use to tell whatever story it is that they wanted to convey. This was a, a woman's art statement. They are art for walls to be enjoyed. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, try, I'm just trying now. The mark of crazy quilt excellence. Ah, I'll say this, here's a good one. The mark of crazy quilt excellence is in the stitching. All right, when women of today would have been finished, Victorian era women <laughs> embellished the embellished. So oftentimes the crazy quilts, you know, a lot of people would use, uh, you know, silk, I guess, oftentimes in the stitching. Right here, you'll notice that a lot of the stitching is, is in yarn. And there often are a lot of, there are a lot of different patterns for the stitching. But if you look really closely, it may look a little bit fragile and it may be fragile, but these stitching, the stitching here really holds together these fabrics very well and then these incredible patterns and designs. When you look at this quilt, I want you to ask yourself, what's going on? What is it that makes this quilt so crazy? I mean, I, I could say a lot about this, right? The, the, uh, you know, I, I really want to draw people's attention to the geometric shapes that are here, the organic shapes that are here. Take a look at this quilt and tell me Take a look at this quilt and find the organic shapes. Find the geometric shapes. Think about what story or what stories are being told with the flowers, with the trees, 
the stars, the cubes, the parallelograms, the colors, the lines. Think about the elements and principles of art that you observe in this crazy quilt. You know, I think that even, I think that the, some, of, some of the fun and crazy, I'm a collage artist. I love collage, all right, assemblage, and uh, bricolage, all of these things, right? <laughs> but uh, I would say some of the fun and crazy quilts is really being able to, you know, to uh, carry a narrative or compose a, a narrative, a story, you know, based on um, a variety of fabrics, right? A variety of just, you know, materials sometimes, right? Here we definitely have the fabric and yarn that is used to create this quilt. But if you look really carefully, you can even see the difference in the textures of the different fabrics that are represented here, right? I'm assuming that the maker of this quilt used a lot of fabrics, maybe from clothes, maybe, maybe from other blankets or sheets, things like that in order to create this. These are some of my assumptions just based on what it is that I see. I think that the, the history of crazy quilts, I think is still being discovered. You know, historians often are not sure the precise beginnings of crazy quilts. They certainly grew into popularity, like we said, in the late 1800s. And there was a lot of influence on that, right? Maybe things that were going on, going on politically at the time, socially at the time, all right? Also, when thinking about textiles and fabrics becoming a, a lot more available to everyday people, or who we might consider to be everyday people of the time. And so the history behind it and you know all of the influences, I'm pretty sure are quite varied and quite personal to the, each maker. So it's a little bit difficult to say, you know, and, and even to sort of, to really to even generalize that much about the history of crazy quilts. Again, I wanna reiterate that I think that each quilt, you know, uh, truly represents the maker of that quilt. So maybe some of the things that they were influenced by or inspired by or visions that maybe some of them had, had seen or experienced. And so a lot of that narrative is often embedded in the quilts. That narrative is truly held together by the stitching. It's truly you know, um, explained right in the imagery that is displayed on the quilt. I would also say that, um, what, what else would I say? <laughs> Let's go crazy for Crazy Quilt. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anna. Let's make part of our own crazy quilts today, okay? To make the crazy quilts, you're going to need a square piece of cardboard, a pair of safety scissors, a pencil, markers, fabric or Elmer's glue, Lots of fun, colorful fabric or colorful paper. To make your crazy quilts, you're gonna wanna start by choosing some nice fabric. I think I'm gonna go with this really pretty one here. And you can even start by choosing one that covers up your whole square so you have a nice background. And then you're gonna wanna choose other strips of fabric. And they can match or they can be completely different. Remember to use your imagination with this and you're free to cut out any shapes you want. They can be stars, they can be strips or hearts. Oh.
Your scissors don't work, just hulk it, you know? I'm gonna cut out just a random shape. And I'm just gonna lay it on my quilt to see where I want it to go. Let's see. This is a nice one. gluing mine and I'm just gonna put glue all over my cardboard the glue would work <laughs> okay there we're gonna put glue all over the cardboard and then I'm gonna lay my piece there and then I'll cut off all of the extra fabric once it's dry. So I think I'm gonna put this one. I might cut it just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut off the extra fabric we had at the beginning. Make sure your scissors actually work before you even think about starting this project. So once you're done with your quilt, you're gonna to wanna to take a marker. And since we're not sewing this together, actually, we're going to be using our marker to just make a little bit of stitching marks. And you can use whatever color marker you'd like. I'm just gonna add a little bit over here. Couple there. So this is how my crazy quilt turned out. And what you're gonna wanna do next is get together with your class or just a group of people who all have made quilts and you're gonna want to just glue them all together so you've made just a giant version of your crazy quilts. Mm -hmm.